more Suzy videos coming right at you, okay? Hot girl summer. <clears throat> I feel like I said that weird. I don't know why. <clears throat> Let me try that again. Hot girl summer. Okay. <laughs> I don't know nothing about that, so teach me, Sensei Suzy. I've been giving y'all a ratchet girl story in a hot minute. I'm in the middle of the dance floor, playlist life. Mm, mm, dropping down, get my eagle on. What? Okay. Y'all just said I did YouTube. That I'm not out here serving kids up like B2K. So, you know, I'm here <laughs> rotating in a circle. I look over my left and I see this brown little ting and I'm like, girl, stop it. Who are you? I ain't never seen you. I'm reflecting like in that. My life. So, I'm about to go over and shoot my shot. Target acquired. Like, Hold up. Wait a minute. She could be here with some dude. He's like, let me go get you a soda pop. He walks away, turn around, and here I go, Mr. Stew, your girl. That's not how I Rizzy roll. So I give it a minute. But then the DJ puts on Beyonce 7 Eleven, and now oh, I gotta get everybody in there. You gotta get in there, bro. My live audition well, she gets snatched Light. up. I look over for that brown little ting, and she gone. Apparently, that's well, what we're doing. She got snatched up. Mouse. Okay. I see you. Next day, I'm in the common area. Boom. There she go right there. I ain't never seen her. Not one day. Not one day in my whole life. And let me tell you guys what she looks like. I shouldn't because I know y'all are ninjas and every little clue I give is potential y'all detective Batmaning. Okay, anyways. <laughs> she's like five foot one. Short, like round chubby cheeks. Let me talk to the fellas real quick. Fellas, pro tip, don't chase because all chases end either in a crash or you get Arrested. yanked out of the car yeah. and your face slammed on the concrete. And I can't speak for you, but I'm too pretty for that. Don't chase. Simping ain't pimping. Mutual interest, mutual investments. She looks like she's here solo dolo. So I'm finna go introduce myself. As I'm walking over, this dude comes out of nowhere and stands next to her. Ooh. Similar to Colin's key. You gotta pretend Colin's like you're walking key, past the... He had that same kind of vibe. I shouldn't say that because all y'all need is that one little clue and y'all gonna start Batman. Oh and my Sherlock God. I didn't even realize this video is 17 minute long. Okay. Well, it's going to stand on its own then I guess. Whole algorithm and like that's him. There he go right there. Cause y'all are a bunch of ninjas. So now it's looking like not Collins key and this girl are here together and that's cool. But here's a not cool part. He has another baddie right there with him too. Two. Okay. You have a plus two, bruh? You know how hard it was for me to get my plus one? And you got two? <laughs> I had to wash five playlist staff members' cars to get my plus one. You have plus two. I already committed to this. I'm not going to be disrespectful, but I start talking to this girl. I'm cracking jokes. I'm being friendly. So I'm like, you know, what do you do? I mean, obviously you do YouTube. I ain't never seen you before. Not a day in my life. So what's your channel? I don't do YouTube. Oh. Okay, you do Vine, TikTok, what you do? No, I'm not an influencer. I'm just his plus one. He flew you in to be his plus one? No. I live here. I'm in Kissimmee. A brrrr? Hold up un momentito. You've been living here while I was living here? I just moved to LA. How are you this fine? I've never seen you around town. Not but once. You're not going to see single every single fine girl in LA. LA. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, gotta go. Bye. Damn. Jesus. Yeah. Fast to the after party that night. I'm over here. Day over D. We're just gonna call her Hot Girl Summer. Summer. She's a hot girl. <laughs> and we'll call summer. her Summer. Some over here observing. Oh, not that's Collins where you Key get it. Hot and girl his ten plus ones. And it's okay. I thought he was gonna talk about some ratchet hot girl. So, so a hot girl called Summer. Okay, I got it. I got it. Summer. Some over here observing not Collins Key and his ten plus ones, and it's very obvious that he's focused in on one girl. Hot uh, girl summer. And that girl is not hot girl summer. Oh, okay. So the whole night he's trying to get with this one girl, and Summer is just there being ignored as she's on her phone. I'm thinking, girl, why are you not married to me? I would not have you out here <laughs> disrespecting you like this. <laughs> and not Collins Key, you out here, you're a good looking dude, you got the little chain and the good hair. I'm not out here trying to disrespect you to your face, but you got 50 plus ones, bro. You went to the beach, you brought a bucket of sand. I just want to talk <laughs> to that one grain of sand right there. I go over to her, I get her Snapchat. Again, this is not how I Rizzy roll. I'm not out here trying to be Mr. Studio Girl to not Collins Key. But... I mean, it's understandable though, if he has like freaking five, six plus ones, like he's making it out. And bro, one less is not really going to put a damper on his eye soon. He's got 50 plus ones and he's clearly ignoring Hot Girl Summer, so... But that could technically be a play for him. Like, he could be 
like how God Summer could have been the guy, the primary guy. He's after, but you know he got to play hard to get. He got to play like, oh, you know, let me put her to the side a little bit and show her that I give my attention to all the other girls, starve her of attention a little bit, you know, before I finally turn back to her. So by that time, you know, she's probably like craving my attention type of ones. So you probably ruined this plan, Susie. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I might at least get her Snapchat. No harm, right? Playlist ends. I fly back to LA. I check. This girl is checking all of my Snapchat stories. And I'm checking all of her Snapchat stories. Can you see when okay, someone checks your Snapchat? For missiles, it's time for phase two. We're switching to guns. Bro, I have not used Snapchat in, I don't know how many years. So I don't, I because when I use it, I don't think you could check on, I don't think you can see. Can you? Okay, I think I'm big. I don't know. When I do this, it's for a reason, and I don't normally do this, but I drop the atom bomb, the thirst trap, within one R. Within one this R. Guy. She sends me a snap. It's a selfie with her phone number. You fell for the trap, you need. Oh. <laughs> My plan worked. So I text her, A, is swoozy. I don't know if you know this, but next time I come to Orlando... <laughs> you're taking me out next time i'm back in orlando i text her i'm like yo i'm in town where is you taking me she says osceola county fair some junk i don't know some fair she took me to over there in Kissimmee. i pick her up at her house we get to the fair this girl gives me every opportunity to make a move cuddling up next to me putting her head on my shoulder i've, I've built up a lot of confidence over the years mm. but for whatever reason that night i was just so scared Come on, so we ride all the rides i take her home even at the end, when I'm dropping her off, I don't make a move. Next day, she texts me. Stage Yo, fright. You head back to LA. Stage fright. I say Monday. Bet. Let's do something. I take her to Cheesecake Factory at the Millennium Mall. We're there at Cheesecake. We're eating, conversating, chopping it up. So we start talking about our exes. She's asking me about my ex. I don't ask her about her ex because I don't care about that dude. We finish eating. We walk out of Cheesecake Factory. Smart. And I'm like, Yo, Urban Outfitters right there. Let's, let's go tear it up. I got 10 racks here. 10 racks here, buy out the whole store. Christian Dior Dior, buy 10 racks. I mean, $10 in ones. So that's a total of $20. I don't want to flex on her too hard. So I tell her her budget is $19.99. Cause t-shirts at Urban be costing $70. So she runs. I mean, to be fair, I, you can say that's smart. You know, you're trying to see her fashion game. So I'm not going to give you an unlimited budget. I'm going to give you a limited budget. You know, see see, see how good you are at putting together, together an outfit under strict, you know, strict codes and lines, you know. <laughs> up in there, she's grabbing clothes and I'm looking at her. I'm just like, <laughs> your budget is $19.99, plur, slow down. So then she goes into the dressing room and I'm sitting outside Man, she the dressing got room. Her own and money she comes too. out and she's like modeling all the clothes off like this is pretty woman. I've never seen Pretty Woman, but I'm pretty sure there's like a modeling montage as she's modeling. I've never seen her either. If I ever take you shopping and your budget is over $19.99, just understand, it's getting pretty serious. So we leave Urban and she goes, I don't want this to end. Like, I'm having a lot of fun. What else do you want to do? Oh, that's that a good sign. To to again, real quick, it's always a great sign when your mm -hmm. POI or the girl you're on a date with doesn't want the date to end. Disney Quest is this five-story arcade. It's on Disney property. Boom, we hit it up. <sighs> Quick little side note, this girl proceeds to kicking my butt in every single game we play. No, Damn, better not tell serious. anybody about this. Okay, I'm <laughs> telling you, way. you better not tell nobody. They're not going to okay? hear it from me. This girl beats me in Dance Dance Revolution. It's Fruit Ninja. She beats me in Fruit Ninja. Wow. I'm like, okay, let's play a one-player game, Crazy Taxi. Try to beat my time. Live footage of her beating my time in Crazy Taxi. I've never been beat like this, not one day in my entire whole life, ever. And as she proceeds to kick in my butt throughout the night, I'm falling deeper and deeper in love with this girl. And I'm just like, crap. Now you're falling now into I her plan. My close friends on IG. And that's a big move. She even beat me in Guitar Hero. Like, this girl must not have a life. She's pro <laughs> in everything. Like, where's your Twitch channel? Hey, finally, this girl what must was not that? have a life. She's pro. Finally, she takes all her days to arcades, okay? <laughs> so she's experienced. And everything, like, where's your Twitch channel? So I make up my mind and I drop another bomb. So I'm like, hey, Summer, I got to head back to L.A. tomorrow. But I think you need to be my plus one. 
at the next playlist live. She's like, bet I'm in. Cool. Ooh, let's go. Fast forward a few months, Playlist Live's here. I fly back to Orlando. So I hit up Summer like, hey, Playlist Live starts tomorrow, but I just checked into my hotel and there's a party tonight to get the whole thing kicked off. If you wanna pull up, pull up. She's like, yeah, I'm down. Okay, I haven't eaten, have you eaten? I'll bring us public subs and I'll order them online. Firstly, I didn't even know you could order public subs online. I don't Secondly, know what that is. This girl is speaking to my DNA right now. Like she knows that's the way to a man's heart is food. And she, I just, she just knew the chicken tendy subs is the way to do it. She is like burrowing through all the layers of ice to get to my cold heart. She and experienced. Like, I already added her to close friends on Instagram. Now I got to share my location with her. Now we got to start dating and move <laughs> in together. And I need my space. I like my space. I'm not trying to move in before the wedding date, but she's practically forcing my hand at this point with the public sub online situation. She brings me the sub, we go to this party, but then there's this dude. Every event that I go to, that I bring a plus one who's a female, if he's there, he spends a whole event trying to get with this girl. Here's what's funny. He has a whole girlfriend who he lives with. And so he's literally out here trying to be Mr. Still Your Girl. <laughs> As wild. Girl. Here's what's funny. He has a whole girlfriend who he lives with, and they are very public online. So we're gonna call him the actual Mr. Steal Your Girl. So <laughs> me and Hot Girl Summer, we're here, we're at the party, we're in the middle of the dance floor, mm, 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 getting our dance on. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna get a drink. Do you want something? She's like, yeah. I take Pew. 10 steps. I glance over my shoulder. Is Mr. Steal Your Girl out is here. right there. This dude already has his phone out, his face is lit up. It's whatever, bro. Shoot your shot, as usual. I come back. Mr. Stu, your girl is gone. I give her her drink. My friend London shows up. We're all dancing for like 15 minutes, and then Summer says, I'm feeling kind of tired. I'm just going to head up to the room. Summer has her own key to my room. She leaves. Me and London stay at the party until it closes, like around 2.30 a.m. Party's done. Me and London head up. We get to my room, and the way my room is set up, they gave us two beds. The arrangement that we had was that hot girl Summer was going to hang out with us during the day, but London gets that bed at night. I'd sleep in one bed. London sleeps in the next bed. Summer would go home each night and then come back each day. Okay. Me and London walking. Summer's in the on the city. bed. She looks up and she sees us and she's like, okay. Uh, I would say that that's realistic. if Because she seems like she's been in that room for a minute. And if that was me, I would have been... I would have made myself way too comfortable to want to leave at that point. So I would have just been like, bro, can I just, let me just stay, man. Like, I can't be bothered to go home now at this point. It's too late. I'm too comfortable. <laughs> me and London walk in. Summer's on the bed. She looks up and she sees us and she's like, okay, uh, if y'all are done, I guess I'll go home. She grabs her stuff. She leaves. London walks over to her purse. She opens it up. She looks at me and she says to me, she says, on the way over here, I went to the ATM and I got $100. My $100. No shot. Sure. And I'm thinking the only three people who have been in this room is me, London, and Hot Girl Summer. It's maybe, super you know, awkward maybe you just accidentally to accuse somebody it. of anything, so especially awkward. something like this. But so it, this is a awkward. game of Among Us, and there's only three people in the equation. Sus. Here's a little saying I've been using a lot lately. The simplest answer is usually the right one. This is day zero of Playlist. Typically playlists, how it goes. So the next morning is officially day one of Playlist. I wake up with already a bad taste in my mouth from this whole lituation. But playlist has officially started, so I wake up and I head straight to my meet and greet. So then Summer texts me, live footage, hey, what are you doing? I'm at a- Baby boo. My drunk took my uh, your charger last night. Thanks for putting up with me, by the way. Where were you at? Me up, be right back. No food yet, no food done now, food now about to die before you pass out i need to ditch summer <laughs> i don't know what that says hello where you at same bar from yesterday okay a meet and greet by the way i stole your charger last night see we're already off to a terrible start not only did you steal my friend's money but you stole my charger we're supposed to move in together and get married and this is how we're starting everything off? I'm already seeing red flags. My meetup ends, I text her, okay, we're done. She says, all right, well, I know you love to eat, so let's grab a bite, I'm by the pool. I get to the pool restaurant with London and my friend Chelsea. Summer's at this table with like six YouTubers and just their plus ones, 
And among these people is Mr. Steal Your Girl. Me well, I was going to say, is that down. not as him? As soon as I sit down, Mr. Steal Your Girl goes, Swoozy, why don't you follow me back on Instagram? You need to follow me right now or I'm going to unfollow you. Psst. Okay. Aggressive. So I says to him, I says, you know what, bro? It's whatever. Okay, I'll follow you. Day one of playlist finishes out, and then we get to the after party again. I walk into the after party. It's me, my friend London, Chelsea, and Summer. So the four of us were on the dance floor, we're dancing, and hot girl Summer, we start dancing, and it gets... Physical. We're doing a lot of dancing, our bodies are touching, Mm -hmm. But we're not really facing each other. And, and in my perifs, I see all these eyes and I see these stares. I'm out here in these streets trying to present wholesomeness. <laughs> when you find a girl who can dance and on the dance floor, y'all are rhythmically like insane. Aligned. I'm starting mm. to understand that we have a bad girl on our hands. And I kind of want to know what them bad girls do. So fast forward to the last night of Playlist. Summer says to me, she says, let's just ditch everybody tonight. Let's ditch playlists. Okay. Let's ditch everybody. Let's just go to the club. The club? Yes, a, a club. I mean, I... What's the worst that could happen? Me and Summer were in the Uber. We get to the club, hop out. As we're walking, I see this line. As we're getting closer, Summer says, follow me. Do as I do. Follow my every move. <laughs> okay. In my mind, I was like, I'm down. I ain't never scared. What I actually said was, what, what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know what you're going to do. I don't, what does that mean? What are you about to go do? <sighs> and I hate when people say crap like that. Because, like, what if you walk around the corner, start wall twerking and barking like a dog, and then start making chicken noises? Like, I, I'm not going to do gotta that. You got to go with it, bro. Be spontaneous. It's not a brand for me. So I says to her, I says, follow your every lead. What does that mean? We're going to... I'll walk past the line, we're gonna walk past the bouncer, and if he tries to stop us, we'll just say, hey, we were inside, and, you know, we just came outside for a little bit, we're going back in. If you have confidence and you act like you're supposed to be somewhere, they just let you do whatever yeah, okay. you want. So Confirm she's a bad influence. This girl is a bad girl. Yep. And I kind of want to know what those bad girls do. We're walking past and skipping everybody in line. Oh, we get to the bouncer. Was. As she passes the bouncer, Run. he grabs her it's arm and says, her, get your hand off of me, and stomps into the club. I already you just know left the... if I try to do that, dude's gonna pick me up yeah, and body uh, slam me onto the concrete face first. I'm like, you can't be expecting that guy to do the same thing a guy can do to be able to get away with situations. It's just not the same. Too pretty for that. I exfoliated today and moisturized. <laughs> She Let's storms go. past the bouncer. I'm two steps behind her. The bouncer then looks yeah, at me. Yeah, I was going to say, the bouncer's going to turn around like, okay, so what you, what you want to do? What do you want to do? <laughs> me? I look down at my phone, turn around, and I walk away. I am not the one more. I don't know her. I'm on my phone now. I'm just like, Mom, can you come get me, please? I wait outside the club for like six, seven minutes. Summer doesn't call, text. She's not concerned about where I'm at. Damn. So I call it Uber. How I'ma look like, hey, where are you? I'm still outside. Simping yeah. ain't pimping. Yeah. You ain't trying to hit me up? Mutual investment. Yeah. You ain't concerned about me? Toodles. I call an Uber. Because for a fact, you knew that as soon as she got in, no shot that she didn't look back to see if you followed her. And if she didn't call you to be like, yo, did you not get in? What's up? She was. She does not care, bro. She's. She's just trying to like have her own good time. She's like, okay, I got in, bro. If he didn't get in, then it's whatever. I'm just gonna have fun on my own in here, I guess, and find someone that. Uh, like, if you out here calling, yo, where you at? The she's. She's not coming out, but she. She got in. She's. She got hers. She's not coming out. I go back to playlist. I have not seen Summer since that night. We've taken um. dual investment. You ain't concerned about me. Toodles. I call an Uber. I go back to playlist. I have not seen Summer since that night. We've texted here and there, and that's the other thing that sucks. She was a great texter. Since she walked into the club, I have not seen this girl again. I did wow. happen to see Mr. To Your Girl back at playlist. And here's, it gets funny. He was outside the after party making out with some girl who was not his girlfriend. Mm. As he's making out with this girl, he sees me and he runs over and he's like, hey, where's, uh, where's Summer? Uh, she left. Oh man. You got a whole girlfriend at home. You out here hooking up with some other random girl, and you trying to take the girl that I came with now? What is you doing? 
Jay Z's over there in the corner with <laughs> Becky with the good hair, looking over at you like, man, that ain't even cool, dog. So playlist is done. I fly back to LA. Fast forward to a little bit more recent times. I get a text from Mr. Studio Girl. So I'm in Orlando. I'm hanging out with Summer. Did you know she was a go-go dancer? A I actually what? didn't know that, but I says to him, I says, no, bro, I didn't know that. That's crazy. But that bro, the funniest thing, I just had to look up what a go-go dancer is because I've never heard that before. And I was reading the description. I was scrolling down a little bit. And there's like a wiki how on how to go go dance. I'm like, bro, <laughs> funniest thing I've ever seen. Go go look it up. It's it's so funny. Oh, no, she was a go go dancer. I actually didn't know that, but I says to him, I says, no, bro, I didn't know that. That's crazy. But that kind of explained why she's such an amazing dancer. Mm -hmm. What is this text even about? Like, what is the underlying message? Yeah, like, what are you trying jealous, to say, bro? bro? Cool. I go and check Hot Girl Summer's Instagram. She's following me. She's not following Mr. Steal Your Girl. And now I'm wondering if he's gonna pop up on her story. I check Instagram the next day and suddenly Hot Girl Summer unfollows me, which leads me to believe mm. that Mr. Steal Your Girl flew over to Orlando, started hanging out with Summer, said some stuff about me that would then have Summer be like, mm, I knew Swizzy was trouble when he walked in, unfollow. I'm gonna be completely honest, not for nothing. I don't care. Follow me, don't follow me, live your life. The part that has me a little bit annoyed is, what is this dude out here saying about me? You have a girl at home. Why are you out here stirring stuff up? Like, because I can't just hit her up out of the blue random and be like, hey, I noticed you unfollowed me, and I also noticed Mr. To Your Girl was in town and y'all were hanging out, and I'm sure he said something about me, and it's not true, it's, no, bro, I'm over it already. What do you guys think is in motion? Because I consider all you guys my internet friends. If you made it to this point in the video, we're, we're homies, okay? I so got you, bro. I'm going to come to you for some friend advice. Okay, In hit my me. shoes, what do you do? Because I know you're probably not okay with the idea of somebody running around spreading lies about you, and then you just sit there quiet. Like, what do you do in my shoes? I will await your responses <laughs> down below. Okay. Thank you for coming and listening to my TED Talk. <laughs> Good news. Be, I don't, okay, let me see Bad this first. News. Bad news is my mask is cool. Today. Oh, that's sick. The good news is these things are only twenty dollars on Amazon. Don't forget. Who Bro, I feel like those are one of those useless items that I would buy because it's sick, but I have not applicable or practical useful. But yeah, hold on. I feel like I would because it's not like you can just because there's no hard evidence like for you, for your assumptions that they're out here saying like you know that how out here speaking bad on your name so you can't exactly confront them about it it's just because then you're just gonna look like hella paranoid for no reason so i mean what i tend to do is just let it run and then you know like if if it's because i'm assuming like people in my circle people that i know would know that like bro this guy is not like th that does not sound like something he would do and if if you believe him it's something that if you believe it's something that I would do, then clearly you don't you don't know me well enough, and you you you're not in that circle of you're not in my space. Like we don't talk like that apparently. Because if we do, and you still believe him, then I don't know. You, you're just not a good judge of character. Then I guess so. I don't know if we can be seen together anymore. Because I'm like, and even if you do, like if, even if you're not sure, and you just believe his words instead of coming to me and confirming. Then again, that's why I'm like, bro, you 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 can't be in my circle, bro. Like that's why we're gonna have to like create some space between us because if you if even if like the fact that you believe someone over me is not even the problem. It's the fact that you just you didn't come and consult me and like come you know you know what I mean come to find out if it's actually true or not. But yeah, also the whole like following and unfollowing on Instagram as a status thing of like where your relationship stands with someone. I've n I I I've not really understood that. You know, that's not a thing that I'm used to. I mean, I'm not really used to social media in general in the first place. But yeah, if, if someone unfollows me, I don't automatically assume oh they got a problem with me or oh I guess we're not like I guess we're not cool like that no more. I'm just gonna. I don't know. I don't know. I don't assume anything from someone. Off. I don't. Even, I would even be surprised. Like it would have to be someone that I'm like really close to that posts a lot all the time.
because if they unfollow me i'll be surprised if i even noticed within the first like week or month of them unfollowing me i think maybe when it's been, if i'm like oh it's been a while since i've texted this person and i go to text them and i see they're not like no they're not following me anymore that's when i'm probably gonna know oh no they're not following me but apart from that i don't really be checking all the time that like, oh this person follows me this person unfollows me I don't. Even, I think I turned off that those type of notifications too, because I'm like, bro, stop disturbing my life, man. <laughs> but yeah, man, this is cool. This is good. Hot girl summer. So I don't know. Suzy out here trying to see what the bad girls do, but they be out here trying to trying to hurt feelings, you know, trying to be reckless, trying to be selfish and all that, you know. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed, and I catch you all in the next one in a bit.